come on after me. A wave crashes on, and the wave splits time and space open, splitting this guy into various slices of cheese. He recomposes himself, exhausted, and then transforms into a Fred Astaire-like character. What lies at the heart of a lot of my practice, uh, outside of formal concerns, outside of medium, uh, is this kind of middle ground, the slippage between things, between forms, between two figures. Uh, it could be between interior and exterior, between spirit and body, between fantasy and reality, between genders, or between representation and abstraction. It's kind of hitting this, this moment of suspension between these more concrete terms. I found that a solution for a mediocre painting is putting a giant googly eye on it. And I'm excited that you can turn the painting various ways and then like go with it. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, so when SASC approached me about uh, contributing a piece to the annual fund, it was first and foremost an honor. I thought instead of illustrating something about the school um, with the piece that I chose, or with the pieces that I chose, um, maybe better to embody the kind of formal and spiritual things that I picked up from my time at SASC. Well, I think it's important if the school played a foundational role in your existence, in your, in your development as an artist, that you give back in some way. Um, that can take on many different forms. Um, uh, so I think it's, it's really valuable to, to show your support um, if it, as it does for me, play, plays a, a valuable role in your life and in your upbringing. I think the value of an art degree is multifaceted. I don't take out the eyeballs that I learned to paint with. Uh, those eyes carry with me throughout my day and I'm so thankful to have that, that view on the world. But I think what really won me over to SAIC in the beginning was that it had this openness to, to, to mediums, that you could really try things out and try them for size and see what really in the end was the best fit.